Hi, and welcome to Track Plan. In this video, I will discuss requests and the six different ways a job request can be raised on the system. First up is from the system when logged in. Here, I am logged in as a full access user. From here, this user can view all modules on the left hand side. They can navigate to the new button where they can raise a new reactive job or a new request. We will raise a new request. Here they can put in the description of the request. Choose their site, location and sublocation. Who it was raised by. And at this point choose a job type or subtype great for reporting purposes and clicking save this will direct them to the job request details page next up is from a web page with no login a unique URL can be generated on the track plan system this URL can be made available to staff, residents or individuals who would need to raise a request. This is a simple web page that they would see. From here they can fill out the description, their site, location, sublocation, who it was raised by, their email address, their job type and subtype. They can also brand this web page with their own client logo. So let's fill out this now. Clicking save will re redirect them to a confirmation page where they can add photos or documents. Next up is from our request app. Users can be given full or restricted access to the request app. They can view all requests or just the history of their own requests. They can also be given access to assets and sites. Here we can raise a new request. This user only has access to one site. They can fill out the job type and add a photo. So let's do this now. They will get a notification that the, re the request was raised successfully. Next up is from a unique link sent via email. Unique links can be generated on the system for specific sites, locations, sublocations or assets. These can be emailed out to any individual. I am on the site details page here, so if I navigate to the triple dot button and click send request link for site. As you can see it is pre-populated to the site that I am on. It will take the email address of the contact on that site. I can send the request link now. Once the link is clicked the person will be directed to the guest version of our request app where they can raise a new request. As you can see, certain fields will be pre-populated depending on where the link was generated from. They can also add a photo. Next up is by scanning the request QR code. Like the unique links, QR codes can be generated for each site, location, sublocation or asset. These QR codes can be printed out and attached to each location. Here I am on the sublocation details page of 
for Office 2. As you can see, the remote request QR code has been generated. Once scanned using any device, the person will be brought to the guest version of the request app. As you can see, everything has been pre-populated here. So simply, they just fill out the rest of the fields and click raise request. They also have the option to add a photo. And finally, raising a job request by email. Emails can be sent to a specific email address set up on the track plan system. Once received, the system will take the subject and body off the email and raise a new request. As we can see here, the subject was broken window on third floor and the body was, hi all, there is a broken window on the third floor. Thank you. Once the requests have been raised, the facilities team can view all requests in the request list. Many filters along the top can help narrow their search. Clicking on any number will bring them to the job request details page where they can review the request. They can view any documents that have been uploaded. They can also view any job request notes. From here, they can decide to either delete, decline, or approve this request into a reactive job. I hope this video was useful to you, and we will see you all soon.